good morning to all so today we will discuss linear combination of atomic orbitals and molecular orbital theory of hydrogen molecule so why hydrogen atoms will form hydrogen molecule because of the stability it needs stability or octet rule due to that two hydrogen atoms will combine and it will form hydrogen molecule is uh, the major theories which will explain the chemical covalent bond is proposed by these people in 1916 gn lewis and cosell have proposed a lewis theory it is in a first they have explained this bonding nature by uh, octet rule that is in 1929 john lenard and jones have introduced the term called linear combination of atomic orbitals along with even linus pauling also has proposed valency bond theory and later esper theory that is valency cell electron pair repulsion theory and mulliken has proposed molecular orbital theory and walter kohn and popel has proposed the dft density functional theory these are the major theories but we are interested in linear combination of atomic orbitals and molecular theory so what is lcao a linear combination of atomic orbitals why we need this lcao let us discuss what that first we should know what is atomic orbital atomic orbital nothing but single electron wave function okay single electron wave function is known as atomic orbital why lcao normally this quantum mechanics we have applied for hydrogen atom and we are uh, derived the solution for wave function as well as energy the same schrodinger wave equation if you are if you want to apply it for molecular orbitals it is very complex and uh, solving this equation is not easy that's why the scientists have evolved a new theory called lcao linear combination of atomic orbitals this is an approximation theory and this theory will explain the bond formation by linear combination of two atomic orbitals and how they will combine and what are the features of this lcao theory uh, main features of this lcao theory is atomic orbitals should have same energy and the degree of overlapping should be maximum that means they should overlap maximum and the third one is they should have same symmetry these are the three important features of lcao linear combination of atomic orbitals theory lco results two types of molecular orbitals one is bonding molecular orbital second one is anti bonding molecular orbital the bonding molecular orbitals will form due to attraction or combination or construction okay and anti bonding molecular orbitals abmo we are indicating with abmo okay anti bonding molecular orbitals they will form due to repulsion or destruction or subtraction okay two ways they will combine that means two atomic orbitals will combine in two ways one is due to combination one is due to subtraction let us see how it will be let us take two hydrogen atoms h a atom and h b atom both are uh, both wave functions we have written we are assuming that psi a and psi b uh, bottom one is these two wave functions if they combine what will happen first due to attraction due to combination the positive sign of this wave function if it is mixed with an other positive sign of psi b psi a positive and psi b positive if they are mixing what will happen the bonding molecular orbital will form okay that is in the form of wave function similarly positive sign of the psi a and negative sign of the psi b if it is combining what will happen psi ab mo will form that is anti bonding molecular orbital sometimes uh, depends on the amplitude and uh, depends on this this uh, psi a minus psi b will not be having psi because 
they are having same energy and same uh, amplitude in that case what will happen for understanding purpose here in this diagram psi a b m o we have written a wave psi a minus psi b but it will be like a single line is the next thing is mathematically we will explain this bonding molecular orbitals as well as anti bonding molecular orbitals the combination or addition or <coughs> due to attraction forces if two atomic orbitals of hydrogen atoms combines what will happen bonding molecular orbital will form that's what mathematically we are writing psi b m o equal to psi a plus psi b this is what a mathematical equation to understand psi b m o we know well already psi b m o will not give any information psi square will give an information for us that's what we are going for squaring of psi b m o if you square psi b m o we will get psi a square psi b squares to psi a psi b okay a plus b whole square psi a plus psi b whole square is equal to psi a square plus psi b square plus 2 into psi a psi b here what is psi a square the probability of finding uh, electron okay in the ha atom the probability of finding uh, electron in the hb atom that is psi b okay here is a small correction the probability of finding both electrons in a and b is uh, molecule is psi a square plus psi b square that is what the thing and the probability of finding electron in this psi b m o in bonding molecular will be having two times higher that is 2 into psi a psi b here that is positive sign indicates the energy will be less and please unmute someone bonding molecular orbital with a probability of two times two psi a and psi b that means electron can be find in this two times of psi a and psi b that is what the meaning for this if you come to the anti bonding molecular orbital how we can due to repulsion or due to subtraction or due to distraction of two atomic orbitals will results the psi a b m o is equal to here it is a, we have written plus sign but it should be minus okay then so it is a repulsion or destruction that means psi a minus psi b okay is uh, here just assume instead of plus minus psi b okay psi a b m o square will give us psi a square plus psi b square minus 2 psi a and psi b similarly we can uh, define what is psi a and psi b and the finding of probability of finding electron in this is two times into psi a psi b will be less here you see that probability of finding electron in psi a and psi b into two times will be less in a b m o that means uh, when compared to that it will have higher energy that is the meaning that's what with respect to energy we are going to discuss this is the energy propel diagram of hydrogen molecule let us assume first here at starting two hydrogen atoms are coming together due to repulsion forces that means electron electron repulsion since both hydrogens are having single electron due to the electron electron repulsion what will happen first repulsive forces will be more and in x axis if you are increasing the internuclear distance that means the distance the bond length between two hydrogen atoms if you are increasing what will happen this repulsive forces will be coming down that's what happens but at one state what will happen the repulsive forces will be like zero because 
at infinite distance or at uh, large distances what will happen there won't be any repulsion and there won't be any attraction also that is what the meaning of this energy profile diagram respective to energy we are explaining the uh, hydrogen molecule formation okay the x axis is internuclear distance you see that with respect to to distance at the starting the internuclear distance is nil if you keep on going on x axis what happens internuclear distance you are increasing at one stage at let us this q ebmo is equal to q plus beta that is what the energy of psi bmo that is the bonding molecular orbital energy so now that energy is coming down because due to attraction what will happen up to certain distance the attraction will be there after that repulsion will be there if still if you are coming to a uh, close what will happen the electron electron repulsion will be there in between two hydrogen atoms this is what the explanation that is energy profile diagram of hydrogen in previous diagram with respect to wave function we have explained the formation of bonding molecular orbital and formation of anti bonding molecular orbital but in this second diagram that is energy profile diagram of uh, energy profile diagram of h2 we are explaining with respect to energy and internuclear distance here q plus beta and q minus beta what are those uh, we will discuss here the q is represent the energy of an electron in the orbital psi a and psi b this is uh, that is equivalent to ground state energy a beta is the energy interaction between psi a and psi b that is <coughs> dmo is having an additional stability plus beta uh, abmo is having minus beta stability you see that energy is uh, deciding the stability lower the energy higher the stability that's what q plus beta don't assume that q plus beta means it is very high with respect due to beta that is what uh, integral uh, value uh this is an uh, we are calling it as exchange integral okay beta is called exchange integral okay this is an q plus beta the energy will be lower q minus beta energy will be higher due to repulsion okay see that that first curve will clearly tell us repulsive forces are coming down at one point what happens it is becoming zero but on what at one point what happens these hydrogen atoms will attract together that means the minimum distance required to attract or repel in between just there we are uh, keeping it as a bond length at that bond length what happens the energy of the psi bmo will be less that is what the energy of bonding molecular orbital this is the energy profile diagram of hydrogen and uh, is in a beta is an exchange integral we are writing q plus beta and q minus beta bonding molecular is q plus beta anti bonding molecular is q minus beta and the differences between bmo and abmo bmo will form due to addition abmo will form due to subtraction or combination or subtraction construction bmo due to construction abmo due to destruction that means with respect to wave function construction and destruction addition and subtraction that's what numerically we are writing or mathematically we are writing psi bmo is equal to psi a plus psi b psi abmo is equal to psi a minus psi b here both have positive or negative signs here uh, in this case that wave function case here one is positive one is negative and electron density is greater in between two nuclei electron density is less in 
two nuclei. That is what ABMO. We already know the probability of finding electron or in ABMO is minus two into psi A psi B times less. That is what electron density is less between two nuclei. Their energy is less. BMO energy is less. ABMO energy is higher. Higher than atomic orbitals. That is what this diagram also shows. Energy, 1s, 1s, hydrogen atom, hydrogen atom, two hydrogen atoms. If they combine, one bonding molecular orbital is forming. The shape of bonding molecular orbital was shown in the uh, figure. And ABMO, how the anti bonding molecular orbital uh, shape will be. So now, two electrons will fill in BMO itself because it has a lower energy. And BMO will form due to attraction, ABMO will form due to repulsion or subtraction. This is the molecular orbital diagram of hydrogen molecule. The BMO and ABMO of hydrogen, how it will form? Is an, uh, diagrammatically, we are writing ABMO, how it will be, BMO, how it will be. The positive, positive, or negative, negative, if they combine, BMO will form. And one is positive, one is negative, it combine, what it forms? It forms ABMO. This is the formation of BMO and ABMO of hydrogen. And the properties of hydrogen molecule. From this, we can evaluate the properties of hydrogen molecule. What are those properties? One is bond length, one is bond order. It is a magnetic or a diamagnetic or paramagnetic. All these things can be three properties can be explained by this MO theory. If bonding molecular is orbital is having even number of electrons and AB doesn't have this an how will you calculate bond order? The number of electrons present in the BMO minus the number of electrons present in the ABMO divided by two will give us bonding order. Okay. If for hydrogen case, bonding order is one. Okay, there is there are no unpaid electrons in hydrogen. That's what hydrogen is a diamagnetic in nature. Next, if bond order is higher, bond length will be lower. This is what one more confirmation we can get even. Bond order, bond length, and uh, magnetic nature can be explained from this MO theory. This is what LCAO and MO theory of hydrogen molecules. Once again, we will uh, repeat this. Okay. Please unmute some, uh, mute somebody's noise is uh, coming. Now you can, I think. 